All right, now we're looking at the total reader window. When you log in as a student, you're going to have a reading window like this. And what you're going to be able to do is pick from thousands of stories what you would like to read. I want you to notice, first of all, that there is a fiction category. And then when you click nonfiction, you can get nonfiction. It's good to be able to read a balance between the two of them. While you're picking the categories you want to read, you will then scroll down and pick a category that looks interesting to you. You can then pick a subcategory, and then you finally pick an, a story that looks interesting. When the reading window opens up for the story that you selected, a couple of things you should notice. The first, in the upper right, it'll indicate the approximate length of time it should take for you to read this story. It's not a timed exercise, but it just gives you an indicator. Next, what you can do is you can actually read a summary about what the story is about. If it looks interesting, you'll click Read Now. If you say, well, no, I'd like to read something else, you can click Select a Different Story. Let me go ahead and click Read Now. The story will open up for you to read. As you read through the story, take your time, go slow, try to understand it. At a certain point in the story, you're going to find a word missing. In this case, you'll see number one in orange. When you click on the word, you will then have four choices of what the word could be. You'll look and study and try to figure out what goes in there. All right, we'll click on a word, and I'm going to randomly click on a word so we can go through this quickly. But you'll pay attention, you'll click on a word, and it'll insert the word in the sentence. As you continue to read, you will encounter another story. The story will continue, and then you'll see another word to go, that goes in there. At this point, click another word, it gets inserted in there. Now let me quickly go through by selecting some words. Number three, and I'll click a word. And here's number four. Let me quickly pick a word. Number five, I'm going to randomly click a word to go in there. And then as we go through the story, it is very important that you scroll to the very bottom of the story. At that point, a question is posed to you. You have finished the story. Did you enjoy it? Click yes or no, and we track that. When you click an answer, you'll notice it'll ask you, thank you for trying Total Reader. How did I do? Well done, four out of five. That allows you to see how you're performing. When you have completed 40 selections of words and they are inserted in, what will happen at the top is that you will see your Lexile score. It'll take 40 of those insertions, and it may take you five, six, or seven stories to get to that point, but at that point, you can see what your Lexile score is. It'll always be up there. And in your case, as a college student, it'll say adult, and it'll have the Lexile score. You can then select another story and choose to read. So a pretty easy program to work. Now, you're probably wondering, how am I doing? With Total Reader, you're going to see that you can click on a button that says My Progress. When you pick My Progress, you're going to get a summary of your performance. At the top, you will see your Lexile score. In this case, for this student, it's 1330. For that student, that means that if they're reading books within their Lexile range, they should read books within 1230 and 1380. Sure, you can read books that are very challenging, but you should never exceed 150 above your Lexile score. Next, we're going to track for you on a monthly basis your average Lexile score because we're taking your Lexile score many times. It will probably be five or six times a month, and you'll see the average of how you're performing. The next screen to the right will show you how many times a week you're, you're reading passages. You will then see the history of the last, last 10 Lexile scores that you've read, and then you can see the history of the passages that you've been reading. All this information is available once you have done 40 insertions and received your first Lexile score. And just to show you something else that you may want to do, as a student, you may want to read some other materials. It says suggested reading for you, 
And at that point, you can get a list of some materials that you may want to consider that are within your Lexile range and are available. Or the other thing you could do is visit our Find a Book website where you can search the Lexile database, you can pick the genre of types of books you want to read, and then you can find the nearest library where those books can be found. Well, you received a brief introduction to Total Reader. I think you'll find it a helpful tool in assisting you to see where your reading level is, to work towards improving it, and to aim for that job that you'd like to get. The faculty and staff at Santa Monica are great folks that will assist you in whatever you need. So use Total Reader, use the staff, and you will make great strides to become the person that you want to become and get the job that you want to get. Thank you and have fun.